Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's start area three, the Slammin' Sea. They may have been a poet and didn't know it, or did know it. Does it really matter? Probably not. Let's go! Needless to say, the, if you didn't get it by now, that little shadow behind where it says the um, stage number over towards the right of the screen on the... Yeah, you get the idea. That's, <laughs> that's the boss, basically. It's the shadow of the boss. And those starfish, I don't really think they do much other than wander around sort of randomly. I don't think they go after you or anything like that, so they aren't really that big of a deal. But I guess they're fast, and that's their only uh, solace, I guess you could say, in them hoping to hurt you if they're even trying to hurt you. <laughs> oh, hello there. What's the yellow one? Oh wait, yeah, you can kick blocks like that, okay. Well, soft blocks, not hard blocks, okay. We have a new power, it is pretty awesome, kind of, and I'm going to try and... there we go. <laughs> try and kill that submarine, it's bugging the heck out of me. By the way, the music, pretty dang catchy, I have to say. Have a listen. I got a little too close to that jellyfish. <laughs> That was my bad, I should have waited in, uh, like a second or two later just to make sure that it's electrical field went away, but that's okay. I'm known for making dumb, impatient mistakes, so what's the difference, you know? <laughs> uh, what does... I think the submarines change color when they go under the surface, if I'm not mistaken. And then they become faster, like they turn from a blue to a red one, or maybe it's just the red one or something that is... As fast as it is, maybe, I'm not sure. <laughs> or maybe they're just two different... Oh wait, that other one isn't a submarine. I am being an idiot. But, again, what else is new? <laughs> uh, by the way, this air blast here doesn't bug you at all. All it does is push you back. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't kill you at all. Uh, just stay within the blast range. Good! Thank you for cooperating with me. And... Let's grab the spirit picture piece and collect ourselves some cash with 8-bit sound effects of awesomeness. I think that's it, yep. Woo! And there we go. <laughs> it always seems like, I mean, these, these are cartridge games, you know, so why, why does there feel like there's like a loading time or something like that between stages? Like on those black screens, it just seems a little off, I don't know. <laughs> I know cartridges don't, like, have next to no uh, load time. I was gonna say don't have any load time. All those uh, fish over there, as you can see, they are, they can go over blocks by floating over them. Uh, those crabs can only move fast when they're moving for, I mean, to the left or the right. It's sort of crab walk mentality in video games. You'll notice that crabs always seem to move like that in games. So your best bet is to get them when they're moving vertically if you can, or trap them in a horizontal area. And wow, they take two hits, okay. <laughs> That's a little worrisome there, because I might not be able to defend myself at times by hoping for a kill or something like that and thinking that I'm safe. I might have to use a bomb or something to defend myself then. But that will be fine. Now, th you'll notice that there's these um, pits, so to speak. I, I think they're a pit or something, but you can't walk into them. They just act as a hard block, they're like an added bit of detail, so to speak. Oh, and by the way, I believe the submarines can hurt you when they're under the gravel like that, so you might want to be careful. Oh, oh, oh I managed to get a hit off anyway, that was quite lucky. I hate that they go underneath the surface, and I mean, it, it dodges your bomb blast, they can do that just about any time. But the uh, enemies weren't able to do that in other Bomberman games, so that's another unique feature of this one. And... Wow, that fish is <laughs> it's really slow, and it makes an extremely silly face when it dies. Then again, we would probably all make that face if we got hit by a bomb blast of sorts. Uh, that's what I'd like to believe, at least. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to test that out myself, but... You know, if we're going down, we might as well go down with a laugh, you know? Um... 
I don't think there's anything more in this area other than these enemies to cover, so how many hits do these fish take anyway? I, I think that was the second hit it took. I wasn't really paying attention to that at all. Or, or was I? Was I thinking of something else? I don't know. <laughs> I just... The thing with commentating while playing is that you have to focus on two things at one time, so it's like, eh, <laughs> at times, you know, that, that you get, like, brain farts, so to speak. That sort of thing just happens. This wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't happen if you're just playing normally, per se. And that's the last crystally thingy. Should I bother to blast the blocks? I don't think so. I don't, just don't really feel like it at the moment. <laughs> So I'm just gonna move on ahead. I know I can get more power-ups to show off, but... Uh, you know, there's a thing of time in the videos to have a good pacing, so to speak. Uh, this is not a good situation. Not a good one at all. <laughs> but somehow I managed to survive. That's why you should always use bombs as a guard. Because they just can't walk into the square that you're in when, you, when, you have, when you're standing on top of a bomb or something like that. It's really, really handy to do it like that. And I'm, just, I'm sort of trying to divide and conquer while, um, s like, clearing the way so I don't get trapped like I almost did above at the top of the screen there. And that crab guy... Uh, I think, yeah, he's gonna move around that top area. They move, like, in random patterns. They don't seem to, like, go after you so much as they just, like, wander a certain area. That's what I've noticed. I don't know if that's actually true, though. I mean, if they're moving randomly, they don't have to stay in a certain area, but they certainly seem to do so a lot. <laughs> I gotta take care of you, even though I'm not gonna be able to take care of you, because you're going to go underneath the sand. How does this sub, you know, pull itself, I mean, dig underneath without any sort of shovel or digging apparatus? I have no idea. Hey, you're not allowed to do that. Well, I guess it can do that, but I mean, you know, when it's about to die, it can't save itself. You know what? I could do this. <laughs> Always a good time. Just by chain dropping bombs in their own explosion while using the vest to um, use your invincibility time, so to speak. Oh, come on! And you're gonna stop right there. Of course you are. Well, actually, that worked. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't complain. And that's the end of the stage. Whoop. Grab that piece, baby. No blocks. But I'm still happy anyway. <laughs> bloop, bloop, bloop. Okay, just one bloop. Sparkly beautifulness. Okay, it's not that beautiful. <laughs> Stage three, let's start. I said let's start. The music started before the actual gameplay did. Wow, this is a pretty tight area. Just look at all this hard, I mean, yeah, hard blocks here. Coral reef. That, do not turn on your electricity when I'm so close to you. Uh, I think I'm gonna be safe to grab that. Please get yourself exploded. At least a fish. Those face fishes, fish faces are ridiculous. Why, why did I say face fish to the side? I have no idea. Again, the commentary plus the gameplay just doesn't work all the time. <laughs> you know, the, the vision of attention. And this is a good situation here. Or maybe not. Oh, it did work out. I can get a two for one here. Well, at least for the crystals. Those crystal things really aren't much of a problem whatsoever. They act as a soft block. You know those fish? Even though they're very slow, they are quite good at dodging. <laughs> Although, if I get rid of all the soft blocks, I, I pretty much can corner them by running around them, like something like this. See, I, I trapped them in a certain area to make sure that it stayed in that area, you know, so it didn't turn the corner or something while I trapped it and dodged a bomb blast. Alright, next area! Uh, oh, I probably shouldn't have blasted that so early. Because it just went underground, or under seabed, whatever you want to call it. You know, I would like to have a sub that does that. That seems like a very handy thing. 
you could clean up the ocean floor of things that are buried underneath it or something like that, I don't know. Oh, those other little fish, they can go over the blocks themselves. That's kind of scary. <laughs> and I just killed them accidentally. I wasn't even aiming for any of those. <laughs> That's just how things go, I suppose. Um, this is a pretty neat old area. It's got some underwater ruins here. Uh, I think though, yeah, that's a hard block. I thought that was I thought that was a soft block at first because the way it was positioned, but no, that's indeed a, a, a hard block. But all, all the darker, I should say, the blue stuff are a part of the ruins and our hard blocks. At least I think. <laughs> I'm putting my bets on that. bother with the rest of them. I don't know which path I should open up. Probably this middle one, because it'll give me more room to breathe. And hopefully be able to corner the submarine as a result. Yeah, those subs. It, it could have turned for me, but it didn't. Unless it only does that when it's in periscope mode or, or something like that. But I'm... I just don't remember if they hurt you or not when they're in periscope mode. I'm not willing to test that out. <laughs> but at the same time, I am curious. I almost want to save stage just to test that out. <laughs> but no, I must play legit. Even though I'm using an emulator, I always play games legit. Because, you know, what's the point of showing how to do things if you're going to cheat your way through, you know? <laughs> um... Wow, there's a lot of enemies in this one. And whoa, did not want him to escape. Because he's a quick critter. Uh, I think I should go down rather than towards the right. Because those fish are there and they can move over the blocks. And I'd rather, as I said before, divide and conquer. Is that some sort of submarine? I, I have no idea. <laughs> it certainly looks like a submarine. But it's got swimming flipper so it's like some I don't know human is inside that robotic machine is controlling it via kicks through the water with those flippers I have no idea <laughs> perhaps we will never know just like how many licks it takes to get to the center of a tootsie roll tootsie pop it's mostly a debatable thing <laughs> Yeah, I think that crab is in a good spot there. Uh, that one, however, is... Well, I guess it is, sort of. I'm just trying to think strategically here on how I want the enemies to go. Even though I kind of opened up the whole world of enemies there by mistake, but that's okay. I can, I can still use bombs to block my way. I should say block the enemies if I need to on these thinner paths. Whoop! And I could grab that. But I would like to... Ooh! Ah, it's just the yellow kicker one again. <laughs> I'd like to show off more powers if I can. More Louis awesomeness. Uh, should I just grab that? For the heck of it. I mean, I'm not really in it for the points. <laughs> Those enemies are causing me a lot of trouble, and I'd like to at least show you that they do indeed disappear. You know, if you grab that thing while there's still enemies left over and whatnot. So there you go, there's a demo of a, a demonstration of things. <clears throat> yeah, that was a terrible excuse, I know. <laughs> I just noticed that this part is going on for quite a while, and it's like, well, we should probably wrap things up as quick as. I what the? <laughs> was that like an emulation glitch or something? I don't remember that happening in the original game. Wow, super slow-mo action. We're in the Matrix now. Was the Matrix, Matrix ever underwater? That's a possibility. It, it could very well be. Oh, is that a heart? What am I saying, is that a heart for? I know it's a heart. I can tell it's a heart. Hearts give you an extra hit, just like the Louis do. Whoa, 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 whoa. I couldn't move to the left because it just decided to start spewing its propeller. Well, it's not so much a spew as it is a mechanical action, so spew is a totally off description. Oh, silly little calico fish. Why must you be the bane of my existence? Oh, okay, you can just die like that. It's like I kill those fish accidentally, and wow. 
I, it's never when I'm aiming for the fish. The fish kill themselves. There's a lot, happens to be a lot of suicide in Bomberman games. <laughs> At least lately in my walkthroughs. Yeah, I'll bomb these, what the heck. Probably shouldn't have dropped on there because I may have destroyed an, an, an item off to the upper right corner, but I don't think I did. I just got a little bit hasty with my bomb positioning there. Good. I probably should be... Wow, <laughs> that slowdown is really distracting. That might throw off my timing later. I was thinking to myself and I was saying I should probably be... What I mean is I should probably be opening up the area. Because... Why did I do that? <laughs> Because why did I do that? No, it is just to make sure I don't get cornered by things. Especially that sunfish. Hmm. The sunfish is slow enough that I could probably just do something like that. Yeah. That face is ridiculous. And, oh, dodge. No. I'll do it like this. Will you be able to dodge this? No. <laughs> just fill up the whole area with fire if you have a tough enemy. <laughs> oh dear, oh my. Eh, come this way please. There we go. Should I free him? Probably, I'm gonna have to eventually. Yeah, I guess he was already sort of free anyway. Should I just leave him be and just go for the crystal since I'm already using up a lot of time in this part? <laughs> I don't know. Ah. I expect that the Cam Studio files will be a lot larger in size because there's more screen movement, and therefore there's more pixels to change per frame. That that that's what increases the uh, file size for videos. Typically, is when there's a lot of different movement, when there's a lot of like changes on the picture, as well as the resolution too, of course. But since I always record at the same resolution to uh, um, you know match what the game is like as closely as possible, so I, I always have the same 640 by, by 480 resolution. Needless to say, I'm just skipping through this here, even though I could have blasted more blocks, just because of the time factor and whatnot. Uh, the boss, this the boss that's coming up may give me a lot of trouble. And wow, I got all the coins. I'm surprised. Because <laughs> I know I left a lot of soft blocks in that stage. This boss is known as King Crab, and it is a toughie. It can use its crab claws to defuse your bombs. You have to hit it from the sides or the back, and it's rather aggressive. And sure enough, it moves just like other crabs in that it moves faster sideways than it does uh, backwards or forward, like that. <laughs> no, 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 no! Well, we, oh, you can you actually use blocks to... I mean, bombs to guard yourself from it, it looks like. I'm a little bit frightened to try that out. Uh-oh. What does that do? Oh, I see. It, it lowers your bomb blast one. And you can apparently blow up bubbles. Ah! Ah! Jesus! <laughs> looks like his hitbox isn't as large as it seems. And I'm gonna have to circle around this room, though, to be able to hit him off on the sides. Do those bubbles hurt you if they touch you? I don't know. I'm... I don't want to find out either. It's another one of those experiments that you don't want to experiment on. <laughs> oh, I, I'm doing okay, I suppose. My blasts could be timed a little better and a little more accurate. Hello there. Just shed all of your shell. That seems a little painful. Oh shoot, oh shoot! Oh, the bubbles stun you. Okay, so the bubbles don't kill you, but they stun you, and that's what killed me there. And that second phase, those bubbles are a little bit aggressive, though, though the pattern reminds me of um, that clown boss in Bomberman 1. Arrgh, the creepiest boss in history. <laughs> do those bombs, I mean, those, do those bubbles home in on you? It certainly feels like they do. Oh dear. <laughs> Good gravy. Do not. Oh yeah, you can use yourself. I mean, you can use the bombs to guard yourself from him. That will no doubt come in handy. Can you hit him from the front? It's. I think you. Hmm. 
Because I, I don't recall being able to hit him from the front, or maybe it's because his claws are... That was terrible on my part. I forgot my bomb blast range. Um, because the... Uh, I've always hit him from the back or the side because of the fact that it has those claws to defuse your bombs and whatnot. Alright, pay attention, PK Gam. Pay attention to things. You do not have to die in dumb ways. Nor does that crab have to kill you in dumb ways. Uh, maybe it, it might be a good idea to get him to stop while he, um, you know, grabs a bomb or something like that, because that freeze time is handy for getting away from him. He's definitely way faster than you'll ever be. Aw, oh, I got him with my one square bomb blast! Ha ha ha! <laughs> well, it, it wasn't actually my one square bomb blast, and I guess you can't guard yourself with bombs that well, because his range is a little bit wider. Dang it! Urgh, I'm giving bad advice then, because I didn't know. So, that's not really very, you know, solid advice, and that's not good for a walkthrough. What am I repeating myself for? I don't know. And yeah, I guess you can't hit him from the front, so it's the side or back or bust. There's two auras in that sentence, and there shouldn't have been, because auras are for only for two things. I did better on my first run than I've done on my uh, other runs. It's kind of weird. <laughs> ah! Can I, like, hit him from this far away? I could, actually. Not when the bubbles fuse my bombs, though, sort of. He's, this, is, this guy is a very frightening boss. When he sees you on the side, he charges for you. And yeah, you get the idea. Uh, it's like, do you want to attract him and get all aggressive, or, or do you not? And you don't even know when he's going to do that or not as well, because you can pass by him at times, and he won't do anything. Oh my. <laughs> I really don't know what's the best strategy for this boss, to be honest. Maybe it's because I always had a lot of trouble with this boss. Remote control would definitely make this quite a easy fight. <laughs> Ridiculously easy, actually. Because I'd be able to just, you know, blast a, a bomb as soon as I drop it. Well, after I turn a corner, of course. Oh, he put pressure on me and I got scared. <laughs> Alright, PK Gam. Let's do this! No more dying, it's just a crab! Crab shouldn't be this complicated. <laughs> and I'm going to just ch sort of chain fire the entire area. And how did I dodge those? I don't know. <laughs> it's like I'm a master of bullet hell games accidentally. <laughs> uh, but at the same time, I get killed by my own bomb blasts. And you know, it's just like a straight line. It's, it's not like it's hard to predict or anything like that. <laughs> yeah, using his claws to get him to stop is definitely a pretty good strategy if you can do that. But dang it, I hate when he backs me towards the wall like that, because you never know when he's going to, you know, decide to um, get all aggressive and turn towards you! <laughs> Something like that. When he's shooting bubbles, he doesn't take damage, does he? Whoop! Please don't corner me, I'm going to go around. Oh dear, please don't hurt me. <laughs> Actually, being in the corner like that and just dropping one bomb in that area isn't too bad of a strategy either. Alright, so he's smaller now. At least I- oh man, he really drops bubbles fast. <laughs> oh, the one square, the one square. Okay, I'm safe. <laughs> Oh my, please, just die already. No, don't corner me. <laughs> yeah, he's a lot, he doesn't seem all that more, all that much more aggressive, but he does, uh, does seem to be aiming for me more now than he was before. That's a, I got him. Yes, oh yes, I'm so happy. Oh. And that's the end of world three. <laughs> And, of course, the end of this part as well. So let's put that slice of cake into place. Yeah, I said cake instead of pizza this time, just because I can. 
could also be, as I said, pie charts. <laughs> well, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part. This part's going on long enough. Oh, and I hope you enjoyed, of course.